Welcome to East Tennessee Pinball. Kind of a lazy day at the shop, isn't it, Django? Yeah. Sunday, you keeping the door guarded? Yeah. Mostly sleeping. Too hot for him to get in his bed. I just got to open up the fan running. Anyway, uh, so today I got some kind of a little bit more pressing issues caught up with, and I'm going to take a few days and uh, work on this Chicago Coin Champion Score. It's a little EM shooter. These things are super cool. This one's a little bit rough, but I mean, it's, I, I, I posted a short video of this a ways back. It is one of the weirdest games I've ever seen. Uh, anyway, if you've ever need, never seen one of these, uh, the gun mechanisms, it's pretty cool the way that they do this. I'm moving the gun with this end here. Just draw this little, draw this little pencil out and basically, the clever part about this is, you know, you're shooting in there, looking at the those targets and everything. And really, the clever design feature of this is the game really only needs to know when you're hitting a target. And those are designated by all these little, little electrodes here. And everything else, that's just a missed shot. So, you know, you just you figure that out just by pulling the trigger. If you pull the trigger and you didn't hit one of these, it's a bad shot. So, each one of these points... Is represents one of those targets down there so if you know it's got a little electrode there it's got a wire going through there so if you make make basically if it closes a switch between that point there and one of these electrodes it knows you hit say one of the pop bumpers and that's how it works it's pretty pretty slick uh, so I, next few days I'm gonna go through this uh, I'll start by checking all the fuses I'm guessing some of these are Overfused, but maybe not, you know, maybe not. There are a ton of Jones plugs in this game. I've never seen a game with this many Jones plugs. There's a few there. Uh, there's a whole bunch more there. Uh, they're all over the place in this game. Here's a little clever thing somebody added probably quite some time ago. This is a uh, credit switch. First, I thought it was some kind of a, you know, because right next to the coin mech, I thought it was an eject mechanism. Maybe it was originally but it's not anymore you can see that turns out in that little metal plate there runs down you probably hear that credit switch clicking of course it hit here so somebody they had whoever did it they had to dig that out it also keeps you from going pressing that switch too far which you know am i showing you there we go, sorry, I wasn't showing you very well. See, they cut out that little piece and keeps you from pressing that switch farther than it ought to go. Pretty clever. Uh, I think I'll keep that. <laughs> you know, it's not quite original, but you know, once it's 40 years old, we can kind of call it original. Uh, lots of relays in here. See that one's adjusted properly I need to go through and clean all these just look on them yank on the wires make sure they're intact you know just look for the obvious stuff uh, that's what's in the front uh, there's really a couple here's this is kind of what you normally see on an EM pinball in the, in the bottom of the cabinet you get your score motor you got a couple of relay banks these things are pretty cool one little bolt here uh, if you can see it and this whole thing pivots down same with this one here so you can get to them uh, I already saw one problem just looking at this one this one's hanging squirrels hanging down here a little bit low uh, I don't know if you can see it but that bolt there that's holding on that coil is touching that leaf blade so that's not good but that's kind of thing you know you go through and ingest all these things and look at them you hang on the wires a little bit don't worry about breaking them off because you break them off they, that's good you know that they were they were about ready to break anyway so you fixed it you know give them a little bit of a tug and uh, clean them adjust them I'll do all that uh, some more fuses more Jones plugs lots more Jones plugs Jones jumper uh, and here's the bottom of the cabinet so this this is a weird thing so you're looking at Thing, everything's printed in reverse because there's a mirror up there uh, so you know it says shoot at bullseyes 
uh, shoot something ball. I can't see the bottom of it. But anyway, everything's reversed because it goes through the mirror. And the gist of this game is there's a there's a ball that kicks up right there, a pinball, and it kind of goes back and forth. And you shoot at it when, when it's there. When you shoot at it, somehow it kicks it off there. I guess this whole thing here looks like that's hands or something, but it kicks that ball out. It runs down here and there's a, it's kind of like a pinball machine. There's no flippers, but you do have slingshots. Uh, that's another slingshot. So there's four slingshots and four pop bumpers and there's four or two saucers. I think there's two more somewhere. Maybe. Yeah. Well, there's three up there. One, two, three, four, five. So if you get all five saucers filled, I think that's how you get an extra game or extended time or something like that. So that's the gist, but you can't really, other than nudging it a little bit, and this sucker's not very nudgeable, to be honest. I've got it on wheels right now. I got it on a roller car, but it's pretty heavy, and you're not really going to nudge it. So uh, basically it falls down here, and you watch it flop around, and I uh, hope it goes in one of the holes. So on the bottom, just a bunch more a suite of Jones plugs. So, uh, oh yeah, and underneath this board, there's all the all the mechanisms for the play field. So this, fortunately, this thing comes out pretty easily. You know, unplug it, I'll unplug all the Jones plugs, and this thing comes out. So you got easy access to that. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna start off. First thing I'm gonna do is change the fuses. The second thing I'm gonna do is change this old ratty plug wire. Uh, it's past due and fuses wires Jones plugs I'm gonna go through and uh, check every switch and in the meantime when I, when I say check the switches I, I I really try to not just the the face of the switches I do do that I you know those three switches you know that top one turn the light off here it's normally closed and it is it's open, the bottom one, or the middle two are normally open and they're closed, so those are good. So you just a matter of cleaning those, those are good. You know, that one looks good, so it just needs to clean, but it's just doing it for everything. It takes a little while. Uh, not as long as you might think, you know. That's probably an hour or two. Uh, and then hopefully we'll get some action. I have plugged this in, you know. I plug them in like everybody else does. And it, 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 it ran the motor, tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a. it didn't quite get to uh, booting up, but uh, we'll see where we're at there. Uh, fortunately, I have, the, have a copy of the schematics here. You know, if you look at them, if you're used to looking at these, this thing is pretty simple. Look at the schematics. Uh, you know, it's, it's basically coils and switch, coil switch. It's really kind of linear, you know. There's not a lot of bird's nest in terms of the wiring on this. Just for comparison, I pulled out a uh, this schematic for a Captain Fantastic, you know, kind of the, towards the very end of the EMs. And, you know, you get into stuff like this where there's, it's not just straight lines. You've got all these intercomplications and three-way switches, make or breaks. And it's just, uh, they, were, they got much more complicated as things went on, you know, as things do. So anyway, uh, I'll stop with this video and I'll maybe I'll post another video after I've kind of done an initial analysis on this and or initial work through on it and see see what we can get working then. Adios. Cheers.